All right, so this is a review, yeah, on Drill Commandments by OFB, which has band OK and double L's. The artwork is like the, um, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called, but basically it's more or less in America when that type of thing happens, which is mad interesting how they fucking take over, um, not um, OFB, but like, I think it was the found. They say it's the founding fathers of America. No, you're not the founding fathers of America. Yeah, but the founding fathers of flipping United States of America in terms of the fact of taking someone else's land and building a whole new political system above it, ruling people. That's what they've done. Anyway, let me not go deep into that. So there's this place where they have those images there, and I'll probably do like a thing there where you see it. But anyway. And then even though in the movie Richie Rich, there's something like similar to that. Like, anyway. So there is 14 tracks on this album. Right? So I'm like, hmm, 14 tracks. Anyway, 14 tracks, yeah. No, yeah, so obviously. Let me get back to the artwork. So Band OK and Double L's are looking at the that imagery there just of them on that, that that stone thing which is very interesting very very interesting um but yeah so there's 14 tracks on there right 14 now me i'm thinking drill commandments the commandments technically according to the bible if you're looking at the christianity bible it's 10 but if you're looking at the mahat that's more um shit. isn't that 42 or is it more than that I think it's like 42. Um, but yeah, and that's where the original comes from. Don't want to get it twisted. Know your real story, whether you're black, white, Asian, whatever. Anyway, so you got the song hashtag, you got the song flick of the wrist. As you can see, as you continue to see me do on a regular basis, if you watch watch these videos, because I keep on flicking my wrist, because my watch is, you know, is what it is. Um, then there's the song Short and Steady, then there's No Lie, then there is True Stories featuring um, Mogs, then there's Little Marco, then there's Freak, then there's Bullseye, then there's Sorry Not Sorry, and I think that is featuring, um, give me a second, let me pull up this properly, Lowski, and then there's the song um, Farm All Stars uh, featuring featuring D Sav X is it X or X so I say Dizzy or Desi then Is Pop then there's the song I put it featuring Is Pop then there's the song Flick with the Stars then there's the song The Process featuring Ad and then there's the song um can't stop the give me a second because I can't see this properly can't stop the clocks. Now, what I find interesting about this particular um, name of these tracks, I like what they've done, but I'm there thinking, okay, are these the actual, are you listing at the same time the commandments, the drill commandments? You know what I mean? And Farm All Stars, because they're from Broadwater Farm, innit? So it made sense why they called it Farm All Stars. Um, although there should have been a whole heap of OFB on there, like even SJ. Is SJ from OFB, OFB, OFB as well? They should have like got him on there as well, even though I know he's in prison, but they could have made something work. Um, and then obviously the same farm, All Star. So I ain't Rich Free T from um, Broad, Broadwater Farm as well. Get him on there, like getting different generations that do their thing that come from Broadwater Farm. I think I'll go down one, heady one. And even that, they mentioned him in a couple tracks actually. There were a few uh, references to Heady One. So, obviously, you know what I mean? Heady One, OFB connection too. And I like I like that reference. Do you know what I mean? When you're referencing one of your own people, trust me, so that it's, it's a different kind of braggadocious type kind of thing. Even though they weren't bragging about that, it's more of the way it's their wordplay as well. And that's the other thing I like about this, this particular album is the fact of Although I don't necessarily like the content per se. Not saying I don't like the content, but it's the form of I don't 
everyone's got their story to tell. You know what I mean? So they're telling their story. But it's like, um, put it this way. I like people that, excuse me. I like people that tell their story in, in terms of rap or whatever. And they're able to tell it in ways that are very artistic in terms of the way they deliver it on the beat, like their flows, like their flows are different, different, different. And it's like, even their lyrics, you know what I mean? It's not obvious, but then it is obvious. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like there's some there's some bars, but it's basic. You're like, now why would you say it like that? But there's some bars are like, oh shit, that's what they mean. There's like, it's like you have to rewind it, be like, okay. Okay, no, that's what they mean. Oh, that was smart. That was clever. Like, you, I get that feeling when I'm playing t some of these tracks. Um, the rhythms, the production as a whole, I fuck it. I, I don't know what it, what it is. I think it's the bass line when it comes to drill. UK drill. I don't know. There's something about it that I just like. But other than that, if I was to choose one song that I like, I don't even know. If I, I can't choose one, yeah. Um, it is probably Sorry Not Sorry. Yeah, it's probably that, that I like. The, and The Process as well. Those are the, probably my two favourites on there. Um, I, I might have to have another listen. Um, some of these tracks I'm definitely adding to the, to the, to the workout playlist, 100%. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of something else, but as usual, I take one song that's in context, out of context, is what it is. And that is Drill Command, but it's the name of the tune, right? Or the album. So the thing is, yeah, in life, whether you believe in Christianity or Islam or Vudan or, um, or any other, um, or, or the nanny, it's like whether you believe in any spiritual system, one thing that you're always gonna have is morals, right? And your morals come from certain commandments or rules or regulations that either your parents taught you or someone else that you look up to teaches you. Now, the thing is, what you need to really learn is one on top of that is learning how to deal with your emotions and your problems effectively which is what i want to talk about here in regards to because you've probably seen it yourself you've probably seen some videos of some ofb members or whatever you know having fights or you know what i mean like or getting into altercations in public spaces blah 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 now you gotta remember these are you know some of them were in the early 20s late teens as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm not using their age as an excuse, but the reality is when you don't know how to deal with your emotions properly or deal with your problems effectively, nine out of 10 times, regardless of whatever age you are, you are going to react based from your emotion. Now you may not immediately react how they reacted in terms in certain situations, but you don't know what led to that for them to get to that you understand like i don't know so i'm not gonna talk about that man don't gossip like that you know what i mean man don't gossip i'm just giving you a different point of view so you can understand certain things and solve certain problems i'm thinking about solution 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 that's the mindset i'm on so this is why i recommend to you is if you click the link in the description box below you will get access access to online courses such as healthcare in that course there you learn exactly how to manage your emotions and your problems effectively yeah to the point where you won't be um reacting based on your emotions you know how i know this as well i used to react based from my emotions you see what i'm saying like now things have changed the way i reacted completely different now i'm more solution based yeah i'm more active on solutions that's me like i kid you not and that's based on the information that you, I'm going to give you. If you click the link in the description box below, it says become a member of the Akabulan Trust and you get access to that online course to do with healthcare. Now, I'm going to give drill commandments like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, do you know what I mean? The only reason um, I want to give a 9.5 out of 10 
is it's just the tracks yeah because i'm thinking if you're going to do commandments do 10 tracks that's just me or do 42 tracks but then that's the my heart but that's different but as if you're doing commandments as everyone knows it you know what i mean like and then you could do one commandment and do it based on okay this is about this commandment second strike this is about this command the second commandment third on the third commandment fourth on the fourth commandment do you know what i mean it just like that's just the idea i have yeah i have so many ideas i have to get back into music at some point maybe not for myself maybe for someone else i don't know I, it's just so in me to have these ideas it's like how can i have these ideas and they're not going to be put to you someone has to use them someone has to use them and i have to get paid for them properly you know what i mean um but if anyone wants to give me that that, that offer hey listen i'm welcome i'm open to uh, ideas and opportunities i'm open to it yeah but um email me contact me let's talk business you know what i mean let's talk but anyway got any thing what to react to next or do review on leave that um leave that in the comment section below um the link to the album drill commandments is in the description box below Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.